Network. Tonight, I'm getting us caught up on some of the hot topics with help of some very funny people who will bring both the funny and the tea. Right. It's time to get started. Let's get it started. Please welcome comedians Tori Hart, Jay Phillips, Alicia Cooper, and Grady to the show. Thank you. You looking like a chicken sandwich. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so let's get it all started off and cracking with this Popeyes. Everything is gone crazy at the Popeyes. Some people even say that Popeyes needs to stop selling the chicken sandwich. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think uh, they don't have these problems down at the Chick fil A. <laughs> so I went and got one of these sandwiches. After I heard that somebody got stabbed, mm -hmm. I put on my socks and shoes and headed straight <laughs> to the Popeye. I said, some good stuff going on. And the chicken sandwich was a chicken sandwich. I didn't understand right, the hype, right. you know? Hey, it was no. good, but it wasn't murderous. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, but I, I was worried because that was a big it. piece of chicken. I was like, they done hopped this stuff up on some steroids. <laughs> right. and this piece of chicken, this piece of chicken weighed 84 pounds. I was getting it up in my mouth like, like this, but it was good. But you know, I'm like, I had okay, it. it was okay. good. It hey, was good. I, I hear what you're saying, but uh, I went and had that sandwich, and uh, I did my best to hate on that joint. That was an absolutely marvelous chicken sandwich. You understand me? <laughs> And everybody who I see doing these reveal videos, they look the exact same way as I do when they when they had their sandwich. The first step bite, you be like, man, whatever, and you bite it, and you go, mm-hmm. And then your eyebrows end up way up here. You're like, yeah, yeah, I wish all I had right. my video on my Instagram right. because that's exactly how I looked. Of I course. bet I was like, yeah, right, it's a chicken sandwich. Now, damn, that's good. <laughs> that's exactly what every, because it's a good sandwich. I can't get in it. I couldn't get into it. I went to Popeyes and just drove around. That was it. <laughs> Just circle the block. Yeah, I was like, I was gonna get it. I was like, no, nah, this some nigga shit. I can't do it. I gotta get up out of here. I couldn't do well, that. I couldn't do that. Okay. Let me tell you, it did the exact opposite for me that it did for y'all too. Because uh, if you looking to lose some weight, uh -huh. it's a great laxative. That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I ended up on the toilet, and that did get posted on my Instagram. Okay. <laughs> some weight from this chicken sandwich. <laughs> it made me go right to the bathroom. I was like, okay, this isn't what I thought it would be. That chicken sandwich is high in everything. It's right. high in sugar, it's high in <laughs> salt, it's high in cholesterol. And getting it's your high ass beat. <laughs> Hiding in your ass, be right. It's not in arrest. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. Violet. That chicken right. sandwich so good it make white people think they can say nigga in Popeyes. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> that's how good it is. At Walmart. Clearly, yeah, that's anywhere. how good it is. So, what do y'all think about dudes selling the, the the chicken on the side, getting his hustle on? Should they have let him do it? Or should they have, have rode for Popeyes like they did, the employees? I, I think it's brilliant. First right. of all, it shows that Popeyes <laughs> needs to increase their hourly wage. When you pay people a living wage, they don't yeah. have to sling chicken sandwiches out the side door. If, right. you, <laughs> if you done quadruple my workload and your profit margin and quadruple and my salary stayed the same, I'm slinging them out the side door. Okay. Day. There it is. Grady? Yeah. I, listen. Just... Peep the ingredients in there. Then go home and sell it yourself. That's that's what you do. All that selling well, out I the tried dough. to do that, but no, there's something like I can't get my crust like Popeye's crust. It's something mm -hmm. about that crust that sticks to the meat, mm -hmm. but it's still crispy and it like protrudes from the all meat. All it is that's just extra paprika. Soda. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, paprika. That's, that's, <laughs> 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 that's more than paprika. That's a crack. Okay. Extra <laughs> <laughs> paprika, little cayenne. Not. That's all it is. Paprika, <laughs> little paprika and cayenne. I I don't know why y'all acting like this is new, man. When I was coming up, everybody had a friend that worked at a fast food joint. Right. Everybody, no matter where you are, we yep. got a cousin, we got a buddy, and you know damn well you better get some extra fries, yep. you better throw something extra in yep. the bag, and then you tip them accordingly. It's just right. the way of the land. <laughs> right. So right. it ain't nothing different because it's Popeye's chicken sandwiches. The only difference is now he could probably ask for about $15 per sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to right this margin. line. Jay, what's the profit margin on that? Uh, 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 plenty from free, $15. <laughs> 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 I take that. Right. But how do you explain that when the, the 
stores register for the end of the day is $115. They like, now wait a minute, somebody's stealing these sandwiches. Because <laughs> yeah. we don't have no chicken left, we'd have made $117. And the Popeyes down the street made 10, 10 million. You like, only, you're you gonna get made. caught. You only steal on days that you don't have to close. So by the time. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> that's genius. I never, that's genius. That's right there, right there. All day, all day. Allegedly. You know, I don't right. know that. Yeah. So you was that friend that worked at the uh, fast food joints back in the day and was sleeping and, and giving them extra Hey, Tammy, you ain't got no other shit to talk about. They trying to get me on. <laughs> I'm growing they there. They're trying to send you <laughs> they to My kid's watching this. <laughs> That's how he got it. Mm. I will move on. Are you all familiar with the artist Summer Walker? Yes. yes. Summer Walker. Mm. So Summer Walker, she's been getting a, a lot of little heat, a little low-key heat from her fans. One, from the city of L.A. because she was saying how dirty and nasty L.A. was. But mm. recently, she says she don't really give hugs. She don't like to hug people. And she really doesn't care what her fans think. That's just how it goes. She says she'll laugh, she'll joke with you, she'll take pictures with you, but she's not trying to hug you because of the transference of energy. Hmm. How do y'all feel oh, about the transference of energy? That's some G shit. I understand what her, what she's talking about. LA is it's on the list of top ten dirtiest cities. Mm -hmm. People don't want to admit it, but goddammit, it is. Okay. okay yeah. uh, <laughs> Hugging, I understand transferring energy. Yeah, I get it. You done hug, we done did shows, and somebody hug ass stink. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Wash your ass before you come to see us at the show. I, I mean, that's her, you know, that's what she does. But I like hugging, but I heard that Summer Walker doesn't really bathe properly. So maybe she just, Ooh. that's what I heard. Oh, oh. Mm. oh okay, that's she, interesting. That's, that's what For I heard. For some so. reason, I kind of heard something like that, too. That she, yeah, so uh. maybe she just don't want to transfer With, her. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to transfer her funk. That's what I'm saying. It's not the energy, it's the funk. Yeah. Get the funk out of my face. Uh, yeah, right. she said she, she's, she said when, when somebody's depressed and they hug, her, she can feel that. When somebody's fearful and they hug her, she can feel that. Okay. When somebody's anxious. So she said that transference of energy would literally, she, this is her quote, literally kill me. So she believes that by hugging people and getting that energy, she'd die. I thought she was going to say she don't hug because there's too many germs. That'll literally kill you. But my right. thing, is she a vegan? <laughs> That's my next That's question. Hilarious. You can't eat nothing because all that had a mama. And now you're gonna die. So she she better be a vegan so she can walk the walk She's and talk not. and talk. She ain't no vegan. No, oh, that's some bull. Yeah. yeah, no. I saw it Popeye's little thing in that chicken sandwich. <laughs> you all are comedians who have a fan base and a following. Right. And Tori, I know you've been on tour, and a lot of people wanna hug you. How do you feel personally about hugging up on people? Well, I'm an empath, so I feel everything too. This is why I'm saying, I mean, I just can't get with what she's saying. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with hugging. You know, I just know how to block it out to not let all that negative energy into my vortex. So that's just how I move and operate. So, okay, Jay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not mad at her decision. To be honest with you, I mean, a as a person, it don't matter what you do, entertainment. Uh, I don't care if you work as a milkman or whatever it is. Everybody got a boundary. I mean, and it comes culturally for some. It comes, you know, just naturally. I, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what that, I don't I have no clue. So until you're invited into somebody's space, you can't be mad at somebody for, for announcing where you want my boundaries to be. I mean, it's mm -hmm. thousands of people. You got, it's already people sitting there watching you when you at a restaurant eating. People that you don't know just staring at you, chew. <laughs> Trying you know to figure out who Trying you to, are. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. like, you know, it's, that's rude enough some, you know, to certain people, that is, that is enough. Right. So some people can handle that, some people can't. I don't mind when people come say something to me. Uh, I don't like being and stared at all damn right. day. Just got, you know, throw me a peace sign, say something, right. and then let's let's move on. Let's let's do that. And but everybody's not like me, so I, I can't I can't be mad at her for having that request because right. it's, it's 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 a daunting thing to have hundreds of people that you don't know, you have no clue, know nothing about them. What's that them. word again? It, daunting. Daunting. <laughs> daunting. That's genius. Yeah. Genius. You're brilliant, boy. <laughs> yeah. But it's a lot, though. A lot of people, you can't handle that. It's a lot. Hundreds of people knowing everything about you and you know nothing about them, mm -hmm. and then they want to come hug, hug on, on you and you. stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. I'm a hugger because, I'm, you know, my southern roots kind of instinctively make me hug people. Mm -hmm. But then there's this... There's this thing when you see people, like you said, that know you but you don't know them. Mm -hmm. There's a, a, a moment of uncomfortability 
that's there and you're like not sure what to do, so I just go in for the hug because I feel like it just release everything. Like, okay, okay, let me just hug the person. But it's interesting because people who hug seem like they have the upper hand because if you don't want to hug somebody, a hugger will say, uh-uh, bring it on in. I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. Right, uh-uh, right. You know, so they, <laughs> huggers don't tend to respect boundaries. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, look, I got nine Instagram followers, so <laughs> I cannot afford to alienate nobody. You want to hug, I'm going to hug you. <laughs> you hugging all nine. I'm hugging all nine of y'all. And hopefully y'all share this hug so I get right. this <laughs> I'm a hugger. I don't care. If you didn't pay top dolly, then, you know, got food, drink, got out the house, took a bath, I'm hugging you. I don't care. You got the <laughs> right. show for us. Right. You paying top dollars to, for us to, you know, right. entertain you. So you still hugging in this Me Too era. I'm, I'm, <laughs> put it like this. Put it like this. They ain't going to do that shit at my show. They ain't going to do that at my show. All right. No, I'm hugging everybody. I don't care. Right. <laughs> Speaking of R&B artist Drake got booed. Did y'all hear about Aubrey. that? Yeah, <laughs> Aubrey. Drake. <laughs> yes, yes. Aubrey. Did y'all hear that Drake got booed at a concert? Yeah. Yeah, Drake got booed. They were apparently waiting on Frank Ocean. Mm -hmm. Uh, Frank Ocean. Yes. I was like, I was totally hey, um, confused, baffled. I was like, what? I'm confused, rated. <laughs> uh, so what? Why? What was the word again? Confused, rated. Y'all are brilliant, today. right? I just want right? to tell y'all. Right? Keep it up. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. <laughs> Frank Ocean. He dope. Uh, he he he's brilliant. But I would say his audience wanted to see him. So I don't think it was. They just didn't, they weren't feeling uh, Aubrey. That's, I'm just confused. Because I keep calling that. Why you keep that. calling that? I don't know. What's up with it's that? The grass is a sign of disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of them that will be booing his ass? Nah, That's what they sound nah. like. I like. I like uh, Drake. I like Shorty. Shorty nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but people pay to see something specific. Is but he Shorty? Sure? Like, no, he's just a young boy. He is, yeah, look, boy, he's nice. Give him a round of applause. He can't. But when you pay your money, you pay your money for something very specific. If I pay to see Patty LaBelle and Anita Baker start walking up. I love you, Anita, but tonight was Patty night. <laughs> and if I'm not going to see Patty, I want some my money back. I listen to you all night long for free because I pay for a certain service. Of that shit. It Out is what shit. it is. <laughs> Jay. I mean, I think. Drake got booed. Drake I mean, he's one of, booed. He is one of the top artists in the world you right now. You know what it was? It was the tease. Okay, because uh -huh. they never said that Frank Ocean was going to be there. This is Tyler, the, uh, the creator's, pro right. uh, his thing. Right. And he normally shines on the, the up and coming, the underground. It's a whole new, uh, it's a whole yeah, underground. It's a whole new set, yeah. Yeah, uh, and that's normally who he does his focus on. And the fact that since you're focusing on all of the underground people and you bring up arguably the most popular rapper of our era, it was kind of like... He's so popular that it's cool to not like him, even if you like him. He's <laughs> like, yo, that song's dope, but he's whack. But how's he whack if right. everything right. he's doing is dope? dope. Right. It, right. But it's it's so cool to like not like him because everybody else does, and you want to feel like you're doing something outside the box by not liking Drake. Drake, his music is dope. I, you don't have to right. like him. He just y'all y'all hate on light skinned people like that. <laughs> oh, really, light skin? <laughs> I used on, to be man. light skinned until I started playing golf. Then I changed the brown. <laughs> I just wonder if if Beyonce would have popped out, would they still have boo? No, they'd have been That's happy. A good question. That lets, because lets she's, you know po she's popular too, even yeah. more popular. And right. if the scene right. was these underground artists, and mm. that's who they specifically came to see, would it be a contradi contradiction to bring out Beyonce doing that? Yeah, they the booed her. They the booed her. They the booed her. They the booed the queen. That's queen. I mean, that's oh. a shit. This ain't her concert. Get that's out of here. That's a dope special <laughs> guest, though. That is a dope special guest. Yes. Go be with yeah. We don't want to see you no, tonight. How many people in the world can pull off a special guest like Drake? Non-announced, exactly. just question marks on your flyer, and then you pop Drake out. <laughs> I mean, you think right. that's a win. Right. How you going to lose with we that? Did they do him? him? But we that just lets you know it ain't what you think it is. If Michael Jackson and Prince were still alive and they showed up, then people would have been on their feet. So that just lets Drake know his station right now. You know, he ain't there yet. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right.
You ain't there yet. Yeah, Alicia. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Talk that shit, Alicia. <laughs> she said it wasn't his station. Right, that's what it is. I had to station. digress. <laughs> I ain't what are you station. doing with a woman, Jay? It ain't your station. Ain't your station. Right. Right. Man, you gotta leave, <laughs> goddammit. You gotta leave. So, um, Tamar, uh, Tamar Braxton <clears throat> posted on her Instagram about signs to know when a man is gay. <laughs> and so I'm going to read directly from, from her Instagram. She said, the truth is, ladies, that these dudes out here really do be gay. It ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies in the world to keep them. They want the D, period. There's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. If he lays with you for three, four, ten days and he don't touch you, it's not you. He want a man. And that's on my mama. Mm. <laughs> when you put stuff on mama, you mean that. Right. <laughs> right. In my head, I was like, what gay man she been sleeping with? Right. <laughs> like, that's the only thing I could think of for her to have all them exclamation points and bold letters in the Instagram. So, uh, Grady. Yeah. It, it, can you lay in the bed with a woman for three, four, ten days and <laughs> not touch her? Uh, yeah, but she ain't gonna... Uh, uh, no, I ain't gonna. <laughs> Cause I, you know, first, I don't like her. I gotta like you to land. That's my sanctuary. Uh huh. I gotta like you. Let me say that first. I gotta like you. Okay. To be in my home, I got to really like you. Then you go get your thick ass in my bed. Oh no, I got to like you. Okay. So if you get past that, uh -huh. we ain't hidden in the bed. I got this minivan. I got what? couch. I got. <laughs> you ain't coming in the bed. I'm not finna go up there and romance you. Okay. Get it on the floor. But the question the is, can you be, I don't know, in the minivan or the couch or the floor <laughs> for three, four, ten days without touching her? Nah. Not gonna happen? What if you just, could you taste her for about ten days? Whoa, what, what part? <laughs> that part. Oh, that, oh, hell no, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not tasting nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you, you can't taste her for three days straight nah. without... Well, first of all, for, for me to mess with her, uh -huh. you know, she, first of all, you got to just see if, it, if, it, if the chemistry is there. That's the difference. So I think the guys that she was with, or the guys she talking about, he don't really like the broad. A lot of people don't know that. Men are picky now. Okay. We pick, we're like, ah, oh, your feet little. Get out of here. If that's his thing, <laughs> who gives a shit? Whatever right. he's into. Right, right, right. <laughs> Wait, little feet, feet is a problem. Who cares? Wait, Whatever they're they into. Shit, these, right. these motherfuckers walk around here with skirts on. Nobody give a damn. <laughs> who cares? Yeah. But see, we also got to realize that Tamar resides in Atlanta. So she's going to see a whole lot of stuff. Uh -huh. right. You know, so I don't think she's necessarily speaking for herself. I think she's just making observations from what she sees. She probably has a lot of friends who are with guys that they haven't figured it out yet, but, you know, <laughs> he ain't what he seems. You know, see, I grew up with three gay uncles. My, my mother had two gay brothers, my father had one. They come, you know, a lot of siblings. Mm -hmm. And so I always knew what it looked like. You know, I would tell my friends, I'd be like, that one? Ah, mm -mm. Sweet. My um, freshman, my roommate, freshman year of college, she invited her boyfriend over. I want you to meet my boyfriend. This dude came over and started doing cheers in our floor. <laughs> and so I'm looking at her and looking at him and looking at her and looking at him. Like, you don't see it? I'm like, you don't see this? This dude is cheering. <laughs> Some people just don't know what Two, it looks four, like. Two, four, six, eight. We appreciate it. Spinning, flipping, the whole nine yards. Damn. And she said they had never had sex. I'm like, I'm sure y'all haven't. <laughs> you know, and so she asked my advice. She said, well, how would I know if he's gay? I said, look. If y'all make it to the bedroom, I need you to take your finger and stick it up his ass. What? I said, I said if it goes in wow. all the way up to the elbow, oh, you got that's your answer. She, that's, that's what she... And she wants to see it. That's what she wants to see. And she started laughing. She was laughing so hard. And I said, girl, I'm but serious. But did she do it and did the elbow go up there? That's she, what we want to know. They never did it. And like two years later, he called her and came out. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. What he told he was celibate? <laughs> Two years? Girl, I, uh, it's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever, Tori, been yes. in the bed with somebody for three, four, ten days, and they never touch you? Never. 
What would you think if that happened? He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's definitely gay. If he don't touch three, four, I mean, three days, uh, yeah. Ten days, That's I, a I mean, exception. unless you didn't have surgery or something like that. But, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> if nothing's wrong and he hasn't touched me in right. ten days, then it's him. Not it's me. definitely not. Yeah, I, I don't think we need... Uh, Tamar Braxton to to let us know that I'm I'm always confused when women can't figure it out. Right. Jay, I, I don't know what y'all <laughs> problem. Like, I don't know. know. <laughs> I've been married so goddamn long. Um, sometimes I do go ten days. You know? <laughs> 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 but that be on well, me too. I be like, hey, I be like, you good? I'm like, hey, I'll do you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gay. Hey, is... Ain't nothing wrong with me, but I'm just, you know, that's a different right. situation. I'm, right, I mean, right. put some, put, put some brand new. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what the, you know, yeah, I'm not. Right. That's not really? me. But so, I'm, if I would, if like shit would go bad and brand new pops up. Uh huh. You ain't got that in three days? Hell no. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, no, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Speaking of being married, though, let's talk about that. All right. So, actor Michael Beach, do you all remember actor Michael Beach from, I remember him most from Soul Food, yeah. I think it was. Okay. I remember from Waiting to Exhale. Oh, Waiting to Exhale, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he was Michael on lean Beach. On me. Huh? He was on Lean on Me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he flipped right. the desk over. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. So, we know who Michael Beach yeah. is. Right. Y'all know My now. Man. Okay, good. So, Michael Beach and his wife, were on uh, a show, mm -hmm. and the, it's going viral because he and his wife, they were on, I think, one of those shows about black love. Mm -hmm. okay. And so he and his wife have a few children. I think they have like four children or some, somewhere up in the fours, fives. And they said that they live with the children, him, his wife, and his ex-wife. So, Jay, mm. would you live with your ex-wife uh... and your wife? And kids. Mm. Uh, no. And they said it's a very happy situation. It works out for everybody. Mm -hmm. I uh, mean, I could, I could mm. see. I honestly could see how something like that might end up being able to work back out later on. But uh, ninety percent of them cases, probably not. Like uh, they, my, you know, my my ex and my my wife, they ain't have no relationship to where they was gonna be in the same house. You know what I'm saying? Would they go to the party together? Hell no. Oh, they wouldn't um, even go to the party they, together? They were, they were real cordial on them drop-offs. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's good. You, hey, you need them cordial on the drop-offs. Right so, and that's, that was pretty much it, you know? That's just weird. That sounds like big love or something. <laughs> it does sound like big and love. And if you're talking about exchanging energies, that's the wrong energy. I just, I don't know. That wouldn't work Well, for I me. thought about it, and I actually would let my husband's ex-wife move in she if she saying? needed to move in. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, now, she might not want to move in with me. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> that's something else. But but I would I would welcome her in. But and, why would you welcome her in? Because she's always been nice. Oh, she's God. been nice. She's been kind. You mm -hmm. know, she wasn't one of them. I mean, she's, I don't know. She's, she's just nice. I, I like her. Okay. I, I don't dislike mm -hmm. her. So if something happened to her and because um, my husband has kids, and those kids also belong to her. Okay. Then I, I would definitely welcome their mother into our home if, if there were extenuating circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, that said, hey, she needs to be here. I think I would do that. Um, I don't feel like I wouldn't. Tori, what about you? Mm. Or should we skip over you? <laughs> skip over me. <laughs> <laughs> like, please skip over me. Oh, I pass, I pass, I pass. Yeah. Please, Lord, skip over me. I pass, okay, Tori passes. And trust me, I ain't, they ain't nobody let me live with them, so. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely skip over me. <laughs> I ain't nobody live. Okay, yeah. Grady. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was your, your broad before, so don't get, you know, too caught up in it. Yeah, who cares? It don't matter. If it benefits the babies, who gives a shit? When you're a man, you don't really care. Like, can y'all, can y'all stand each other? All right then, let's do it. So then, let me flip it. Come on. What if her ex-husband wanted to move in? Who cares? You good I just with think that? people get too, they get too caught up. They, everybody oh. is sensitive. Don't nobody mm -hmm. give a shit. You're too sensitive. Who gives a damn? That was be, he was before me, right? Right. And she was after you. Right. Who gives a damn? 
That's like, why you don't sleep ten days. That's why I said it early. <laughs> 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 Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> It's too fidgety in the damn house. It's too, people worried about too much, Yeah, huh? who can? Okay, to her said, I was first. That's <laughs> no, about the reverse We're we doing the reverse. Yeah. Oh, the Would reverse? Would you let her ex-husband, if she had one, mm -hmm. move in? No. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and he ain't sensitive no, at all. No, 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 no. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. No, yeah. no this is it. I mean, we ain't even got to go deep. <laughs> right. No, it's no. Do you think that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so here's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Alicia Keys took to Instagram talking about judgment and particularly about her son. And I think we may have a video so that we can just hear it from her mouth herself. So let's roll. He tells the lady that he wants rainbow colors on his, on his nails. And she brings all of these colors and she paints each nail a different color. And after he painted his nails, he looked at me and said, Mommy, I don't want this on my nails. And I was like, why? You were so sure you're good. And he was like, people are not going to like it. Can you believe this? Four years old. He's four. And he already understands the concept that someone's going to judge him because he chose rainbow colors on his nails. So I hear y'all in the audience going, mmm, like mm. that's so sad. That's but a damn shame. Which part? What's Swiss at? <laughs> Where in the hell is Swiss at? Mm -hmm. That's right. I'll say it again. Say it again. Where the right. hell is Swiss at? You're right. Okay. Cause see, I got three boys. Mm -hmm. And I'll be damned if any of my babies say, hey Dad, I done went to the salon with mother. <laughs> and I'll come back doing this here, <laughs> I'm going to prison. <laughs> I'm not finna play around with it. Let the baby be a baby. Let him be a boy. This is why you don't have kids with everybody. This is, that's the main reason. Mm -hmm. You don't have children with everybody. Everybody's not good for it. Well, but, so uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, what's wrong? But the, you don't let wrong? nobody no, with it. You, no, nah, nah, hold on, first of all, no four-year-old child, children, are sponges to the parents, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So whatever you do, the baby see it, and he's going to mimic, or she's going to mimic. Right. The little boy had already told his mother, I don't think this is good for me, because his male trait stuck out like, hey, I made you an image of a boy. You don't do that. So all this getting your fingernail painted, and it's a rant and all that, no, 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 no. Where the damn father at? Swiss, stop making music. Go get your baby. <laughs> okay. Go get your baby. That's pretty harsh. But this, I this, mean this, what I say, though. This is rich people you. problems, first of all. These people get rich, and they just lose their damn mind. If she was in the hood, we wouldn't be having this damn discussion. Real shit. This is rich people problems. At the Real end of the shit. day, it's a parent's job to guide the kid in a way that's going to cause them the least amount of harm. It's not about you just letting him do whatever the hell he wants to do. That means he's raising himself. What are you there yeah. for? Real talk. What are you there for? But if we're painting our fingers rainbow colors, as she said, um, that's not, it's not murder, it's not, like, what, what, literally, what is wrong with that? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's gay. <laughs> So she huh? said it's gay. It's gay. I mean, that's, that's, that's Tori. I don't because think people say that's gay anymore. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't say that. <laughs> I think. I think that's. Oh, well, so what's the new word? I, oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> gray without the R. I don't know. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I think that's, that's what one. everybody yeah. wants to say, but nobody's saying anything anymore. But mm -hmm. I mean, if that's what he is, fine. Okay. But that's what the little boy was, you know, getting to. That's what he was getting to. Wait a minute. So the baby, you think the baby is... No. Because he said exactly. people won't like that. Yeah, the, it was the baby's idea. Yeah. To, to He wanted rainbow and he nails. Thought, and and, then then he and she flag. said, okay, get the rainbow nails. And he was like, I don't think I want them because people, people gonna are going like to judge it. me. Right. Hey, uh, look, let's, no. let's, let's, let's keep it to the but, facts. The facts of the matter are... Little boy wanted to dabble in whatever that is that he thought. I mean, this is a little kid. I think that was innocent. The first part of it's innocent. Hey, this is paint. This is colors. Let's go have some fun with these colors. I'm going to do all of the colors. And then once he did that, like Grady said, something in his instincts, your gut feeling kicked in and was like, yo, there's something ain't right about this. I don't know what that means, but I'm four. I don't know what this, I don't know what this feeling is, but yo, I don't like this no more. And then your mommy right. 
to, you know, he ain't coming up with society stinking up. That's that's mama putting that into his head, and that's somebody else doing that. His this gut, fit, as a parent, that, my job is to feed my my kids, my boys, my young men into the to, into believing in their gut feeling, whatever that is. Your gut feeling is right. You got to go with your gut feeling, and for her to question that is not strengthening his belief and his gut feeling to me. But here's the, the point Alicia Keys, I believe, was making. His gut was the first move. I want some rainbow nails. And then society became his second move, but I don't want people talking about uh, it. His gut made him say that I don't like this. His gut made him say that you know, after you he take, did it, it's like, uh, let me come on now. Everybody's kid, done something. If you <laughs> take any kid into a nail salon with a bunch of colors, they might come out and say, I want a couple colors. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That part is normal and natural, but that's where the parent has to come in and just have a whole discussion with the kid and parent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're here to accompany mama right? <laughs> to this nail salon. <laughs> we'll talk about you and your nails. You get a little bit older, that you can understand the, whole, the ramifications of the entire thing. Right now, you're four. Right. So I'm going to let you be four. I you know, he's said, four. That's all I said. Let the baby be a baby. Are so so you saying you, let him paint his nails? No, I'm no. saying explain no. him. I think we understand Never. Grady's position. Never. We, the, okay. the little boy is not getting his... Yeah, Grady's boy is not getting that nail face. Can, like can, can they get a, can they get a buff yeah. and, and, like, clear? It's okay yeah. to clean. It's okay to clean. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. have a problem with the colors. No, no. The rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah, the rainbow. If it was and the colors. brown or no whatever color. color. Oh, so no. It, None of them. Oh, so, no. so no colors? No color. Buff. Not on four? I'm going to jail. I'm no, going to jail. Well, who are you I, killing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who else? You can't decide. You're going to chop their no, hands off? No, just, no, no. What, what happens, happens is, is... Look, it's going to start with the Asian lady at the salon. And it's just going to keep, keep going down to Popeye's chicken sandwich. You know what I mean? I just think that you just you go too far with this. You go too far with it. And as Swiss being the, the father, he ain't say, hey, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. It's okay to tell no. What do you think Swiss said to Alicia? Nothing. He's ski doing or whatever. What they call him, the jet ski? He skating <laughs> around the house in roller skates and fur buttons or whatever he does. We missing the men. Tori, you have a son. Yeah. Would you let your son get his nails painted? At four. Um, no. I mean, my son has locks that are dyed blonde right mm -hmm. now. Um, but... I definitely would not let him paint. See, that's what I don't understand. Yeah. What's the difference between locks, which is hair like like this, which I yeah. see plenty of young men have, who've colored their hair mm -hmm. in different colors or blonde or what's the difference between that and nail polish? What is it the difference? It won't happen. My old, my middle boy had dreads in Chicago. He was talking about doing the dip. We don't dip hair. First of all, <laughs> cut your hair from your daddy. <laughs> when you step in as a man, they already know. I, this is my image. This Daddy is superhero. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. Daddy is superhero. So you made him cut his locks off? No, no, no. You ain't finna put no color in there because you're not a girl. Period. Oh. Period. I'm now, old school. I we was going to do say, so you I'm don't think that's we antiquated? Don't do that. that, we don't that do that's that. pretty antiquated. Yeah, I'm from <laughs> Chicago. We don't do that. Mom and daddy. Well, now people in Chicago do it now. That's don't, the issue because most Chicago of the daddies are gone. Uh, most of the daddies are in prison. They left the home. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. It's okay to be like, uh-uh. It's no, no, no. You don't do that. And you came for me? No, take that out. <laughs> get, keep it, keep it. You can, I'll deal with it because you're letting your hair grow. Right. I get it. But all that, no, we don't do all that. So they can't even dip it? No, I went, what for? <laughs> to be fun. No, no. And the, yeah, nah. my, my you, son's an art. We had Gumby's back in the what, what, what we had? We had Gumby's. Yeah. yeah. Bald head. Well, I may have the little, you know, in the front. But you it know, was, and it had was the in the shape of Africa. But you say let like, kids. <laughs> oh, not all the time. <laughs> you said, you said, come on down, Grady. She said, come on. She said, come on. Touche. Come on. Tell her, tell her, Jay. Touche. But it was not the shape of Africa. It was just a pack. No, that's it was. Are you serious? <laughs> it was the shape of Africa? Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody, of Africa. Like everybody yeah. wasn't in the shape of Africa. No, yeah. no, no. She said Kwame. Oh, Kwame. Yeah, yeah. I just, I but answer. it still died no matter what. So if I tell my son you yeah, got these blonde locks and you shape it like Africa, that was, that's okay no, for no, you. It was, the, it was it, the dye was shape of Africa. That's what no, it is. No, I know, his, but... His, his, his was not being said here. Grady has a particular way 
that he wants to raise his young boys, and that uh -huh. is his absolute right to do. Oh, you ain't got to speak for me. I'm, I know. <laughs> I, I know. I'm, 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 understand, I'm just saying it in, in a spectrum, okay. in a, you know, per spectrum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the way that you, you know, uh, as a lady coming from a different perspective, right. you guys are going to have a different thing. You guys ha are responsible for a different side of what happens to this young man. Y'all are y'all in charge of the caring. Y'all in charge of the artistic. Y'all in charge. We we are in charge of creating the hunters and the leaders of of, of the next generation. We, you're you got my name on your back, so I'm going to give you everything that I got in order to give you that. Now, some of the ways that I'm gonna teach you might not be proper and might not be foreseen, but it's the way that I learned and it's the way that I turned out okay. And if you at least end up like me. I think I did my job, and I think that's what we what we're coming from. It's okay to have an, your opinion. It's just now that since we're in this cancel area era, that you can't say nothing without everybody wanting to go viral and be upset about the way that you're trying to raise your kids. There's yeah. nothing wrong with what he's saying, but that's just that's his house. Right. But he ain't got a problem with nobody else. I don't have a problem with neither one way y'all do. Not at all. Not at all. That's just everybody when raise their say, own kids. When you say let a kid be a kid. Don't kids, I don't have kids, so I have okay. to ask the three of you. Mm -hmm. Don't kids experiment with different things? What, yeah. the, what's the thing? Go ahead, Tor. No, they do. That's it, they do? They do, mm -hmm. because I, I will say this, I mean, and I, I used to have locks. Mm -hmm. So I, I think when my son wanted to get the locks, it was because, you know, I had them and mine were died. Uh, not like he has it now, but, mm -hmm. you know, they were died. And so he took on, you know, wanting to have the locks. And, and also he saw the football player, I forget his name. Um, Odell Beckham. Yeah, Odell Beckham. He had the blonde, so, mm -hmm. you know, he was into it because of that. And so, you know, he wanted to experiment, but, you know, I didn't see anything wrong with it because he is an artist, he's an individual, he's creative, he's a leader. And so I like the fact that he did want to step outside the box and do something different than all his other friends were doing. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So, and that's still him being a child, exploring and learning, and because he's very, very masculine. Right. So, we have a caller, Chris. Hi. Thank you for calling in to the Tammy Mac Late Show. Miss Tammy Mac, lovely, lovely, lovely to uh, speak with you and beautiful people on the panel. Thank you so much for having me. My question is, is uh, coming is directed towards the uh, the panel. What I'm what I'm hearing is a little saddening because I'm wondering why we're holding on to the construct of what a man and a woman are supposed to be. Everything aside from what's between our legs, that, that pretty much is where it should stop. If you're coming to, if, if you're talking about expressing yourself and how that's a good or bad thing, that's a little, that's a little interesting that, that y'all have that take on it. But I was just wondering if y'all could expound on that, please. So what take, Chris, are you referring to? The take of the fella saying, hey, I'm going to formulate my son into being a man? Into a man. What exactly does that even mean? What does that mean? Are you um, well, what that, what that absolutely means is that in any successful household, um, there, there's, there's, there's different roles that people have to acquire to make the whole teamwork thing move. I mean, it's a family. You don't, nobody does it by themselves. So if somebody's doing one thing, somebody else has to do something else. I mean, that's, that's just part of, that's just part of what, <laughs> what it takes to raise a family. That's what family's about, right? Hmm. Yeah. So, Grady, are there separate rule, are there separate duties from a man than a woman of course. In, a, in a household. Of course. And it's, so expound on those separate duties. Take out the garbage, get the groceries, <laughs> make you, sure Chris. she's comfortable, make sure she's, she feels secure. You a leader, you lead. That's the problem. Everybody feel like the woman is the leader, the man. No, if it's a family, children see parents getting along. I understand what he's talking about, mm -hmm. but when you in this union, children need to see mommy and daddy get along. Mommy, what is your role? And then daddy, what is what your, is your role? role? Okay? Yes. So a lot of parents probably don't, like you just heard big bro just say, hey, I don't really touch her sometimes. That's how I feel. But the, ch the, the son and daughter might be like, well, I don't ever see mommy and daddy hug. You understand? Right. You have to lead. And it's okay for you to say, hey, we're going to watch TV. 
together as a family. The Cosby Show. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to lead, though. That's I, all. I heard some jeers in the audience. Somebody got something to say? Somebody, some, who, who has something? We got a I microphone. Like the, Come I on. Like the Come on, baby. Step right here. There's a T right in the center right here. Step in the center of that T. Come to the T, so Come to the T. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, my name mama. is Lodeja Maiden. Um, I understand some of your, um, what you're saying. Just the way we're moving in as a society and in the traditional roles that we have set, our parents have set for us, and the foundation laid. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't. I mean, it's a perfect balance. It's a good balance. However, where we're moving to society these days, a lot of this just is more so what everybody has to say. And we're in a weird space where it's half is traditional, the other half is this millennial moving into this new way. My question to you is, um, in the household of it, as far as you like, you know, the man take out the trash, something as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Can a woman take out the trash? Can a man cook dinner sometimes? Of course. Can it be vice versa? I went to culinary school, so I'm okay with cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm just like, can't roles be reversed in that sense? Now, yeah. I'm not saying like, uh, I don't know what one thing that a man just has to do on his own. Well, you got, a man got to teach a man how to pee. <clears throat> right, exactly. Well, yeah, that's what, okay, that part, but I mean, like, uh, I don't know how to pee standing up. Right, right, right. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's stuff like actually that's what a no. man has. I'm not saying that, like, a man got to, of course, a man got to teach his son how to be a man, but I mean, like, in the household traditions. Can't each role take on each thing? Of course. It doesn't have to be a man. Of course, mom. There are certain things that are going to stand out to be abnormal. Mm -hmm. Now, watch how abnormal this sounds. Okay. How would you feel if, at every time, every door you got to, your lady opened your door for your man. Oh, that don't even sound right. You hear every, I heard it. I mean, uh. that's but that is a or role. Or shovel of snow. No, 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 but that is a role that is taught from father to son. That is, that is something that is taught. That is yes. a behavior that is taught and a mindset that is yes. taught. So there are certain things that that is your job. That is just what it is. Okay, I get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're good, Mom. And you can always tell when a man has been raised by a man, you know, when you're dating him. Because I remember I dated this one guy. Every time I went to open my own door, he freaked out. And one time we were in front of his parents' house. He was like, ah, don't you touch that door. My father could be looking out of the window. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, no. Right. I wasn't used to all that. Right. But I got used to not opening my own door because his father taught him how to be a man in such a way that he would freak out if his father caught him not opening a door for any lady, Leader. not just me. And then he would always refer to women as a young lady because a young lady. And I was like, I ain't used to this. Now why you leave him? <laughs> he cheated. Did you write too? Right. But his parents have been married like 60 years. So that surprised me. I got caught completely off guard on that one. Uh, yeah, I got, I got caught slipping on that one. Oh, God. But, but he, he was opening them doors, yeah. right? He was doing he was everything right. He was opening a whole right. bunch of doors. Too. He was opening other doors. <laughs> but he was doing everything right to the right. point where I was I never even thought he could cheat. Oh, no. Because his right. parents were still together 60 years later. Mm. But his father did teach him all the things that a man and showed him with the way that he taught, the way he treated his mother. Mm -hmm. So he not only walked the walk, but he talked the talk. And I mean, I saw it with my own two eyes. I was like, wow, this is, they were like the Cosbys. Mm. You know, and, and, and it is important mm. because the other guys that I dated, some mean didn't hostable. have a father. <laughs> They, they, right. yeah, that was a whole yeah, that's, that's different, that's different family. family. That was a whole, yeah. yeah, it was good times in the other spots, so. And you, you know. can also tell when a man hasn't been raised by his father. Mm -hmm. I remember going out on a date one day and dude, I just had a brownie and the bill came. <laughs> I had to pay for my own brownie. Oh, <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, this brother don't have no daddy. He don't have no daddy. And he ain't getting no blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I didn't know that could be on the table for a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> you been spending too much money. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get me a brownie. All I need is a brownie? Yeah, I ain't <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a weed brownie. Go get it. Regular brownies when I leave. <laughs> Bro, them ten days might be up right? if you get you some brownies. You're right. Oh wow. <laughs> can Tori? Can you tell? Can do you feel like it's best 
that a young man be raised by the mother and the father? Or would you believe you could do it by yourself? I definitely can't do it by myself. So I feel like you definitely need a father and a mother, or at least a male figure in mm -hmm. a young man's life. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I think yeah. that we women have gotten to the point where we think we can do everything by mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. and almost to the point to where we're offended when people suggest that we may need a little help. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a little ridiculous because can I- you describe the help? Like what kind of help a woman yeah, might need? Yeah, because the sister, she had, she, you know, she made a good like, point. Well, f financial help for once. Right. You know, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I can make my own money, but I would rather spend his. <laughs> and that's real. <laughs> and, and I want him to be okay with that. I want him to be like, no, baby, keep yours. Right. We good. <laughs> do what you want to do, you know? Go, go do what you want to do with your money, and we'll take, I'm, we're going to take care of the stuff with my money. Yeah. So I, I love the protection that a man provides. Yeah. I yeah. love the financial um, stability that a man can provide. I don't want to do none of that shit by myself. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know, and, and I, kudos to you if you want to do it by yourself, but I promise you, that, I, I get tired of women talking about how hard it is and how difficult it is, but then when, but then when you say, so, I could do it all by myself, then shut the hell up. Yeah. If you're going to do it by yourself, do it by yourself and don't complain about it. Yeah. Then be happy. I do it by myself. Okay, you go ahead and do it by yourself, but I don't want to take out the trash. I don't want to, uh, anything traditionally that a woman shouldn't do, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but I do love making my own money. I do love working, so I, pro I will probably never be that woman that just kind of sits at home. Right. But I also, I cook every day. Wow. Well, let me stop well, yeah. lying, because he's going to be like, him, you right? ain't cooked this week. <laughs> 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 but I do. I cook. I get up and I cook breakfast for my husband every day. Mm. I, I, I cook lunch. I cook dinner. I clean up the house. Where you get all this time? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and talk I'm to her. Talk just show. To her. Here's the thing: you oh. make time for for stuff you want to do. All Stay that for a brownie? Say <laughs> <laughs> that again. You make time for what you want to do. I ain't got to say shit else. And I, <laughs> I ain't got to say shit and, else. And That's I do it. believe, like, I do get tired, you know. Oh, but wow. but even on the days that I'm tired and I'm exhausted. You know, I get a reprieve. It's not like he gonna be like, well, you ain't cooked my breakfast this morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Like, he don't feel it when, he, when I don't cook, because that's what he's I do. He's used to it. Right. Yeah, right. Used but to he it. ain't gonna be coming in the bedroom waking me up to no. my, you ain't gonna fix my breakfast. Yeah, like, no. it's not gonna go down no. like that. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a mama's so, boy. Uh, probably that's so, That's a yeah. mama's boy that does that. That, that says, Real you talk. ain't gonna cook my breakfast? Yeah, you ain't gonna yeah. do it. No, it's, you know, like I said, when you're a man, you lead your home. You lead the home. That's it. That's it. It's okay. Yeah. It's, if you tired, I, I'm going to cook for you. Yeah, I find Switch. it refreshing man, uh, when a man treats me like a woman. Yeah, it's easy. Flat out. Flat so, out. So could you be a Meghan Markle and give up your whole career and go marry Prince Harry and sit over there oh, with the That's a Royals? job. I don't want that kind of job. That's right. a job. Yeah. Are you kidding me? She Hell already on interviews talking about it's hard. Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. Uh, and we can't take it. It's all. Oh, and the baby. And I, you know. yeah, I'm she like, yeah, girl. She, she messed up. Me. She finally realized that Couldn't shit me. was looking like how them people looked in Jonestown when they wanted to go home on the plane. <laughs> Larry. Like, Larry. I'm so glad you asked. I am not want to Somebody take me home. Get the American consulate to come rescue me. <laughs> the prince, the, the, the queen is a bitch. Right. <laughs> I haven't had any in ten days. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all good. of you. <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> all of you, Brady, thank Alicia, you. Jay, Tori, thank you for hanging out on the Tammy Mac Late Show. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> you.